I think it's been just over a week since the last update and uh, a lot has been happening. Uh, so normally I would do these photographs or do a video uh, in the morning on a Sunday when it's nice and bright outside and natural light coming in but uh, I've been pretty busy today also. Uh, so as you can see here in the office, uh, well, pretty much almost moved in. Uh, lots of bookshelves put up over the past week or so and uh, yeah. It looks like it's something where we've been living for years, but it's not quite. And if you have a look out into what's now the, the guest room, uh, putting together furniture, we visited IKEA uh, last week and uh, picked up some odds, well, an extra bookshelf and then a unit for the bathroom, which is lying there in the middle, and a sink, so that's uh, ready to ready to be put up almost. So this room, yeah, it's pretty much done. Um, the Skirting boards are in and um, for the half timbered walls we get some sort of uh, like a, a rope type thing and uh, tack it down to the floor so that any gap between the floorboards and the wall can be closed off and it doesn't look so ugly. And the bathroom uh, began putting in the wooden panelling uh, so the sink unit will obviously go where the pipes are there we just need to extend them out I need to just make that a little bit more sturdy and then uh, paint it once you pick a color to paint that it seems to be the hardest thing at the moment and then we'll pick a matching color for uh, the remaining plaster walls and uh, today my wife painted the clay part of the ceiling uh, we just need to do that bit where the plasterboard is and uh, next week we'll probably start fitting the toilet and stuff like that so uh, that's coming on as well once the toilet's in as I said before we could we could move in in theory even if there's no door uh, Kitchen, nothing has changed here except there's cake from my mother-in-law, which is good. Um, so this is kind of like the room where everything gets shoved uh, in between. Oh, and uh, our friends uh, Satya and Silly were here today. And uh, they put on the uh, covers and all the switches and the sockets and all that. So it's uh, looking a bit more kind of finished here, which is really great. And same in the living room, so nothing else has changed here uh, except for the, the socket covers and the light covers, so thermostat has to go there. And um, what we said we do, Satya has a big table um, saw, circular saw, which I don't have, and uh, we're going to prepare some wood so that I can continue making the skirting boards. So that'll be that, but uh, this past week I've been mostly focusing on upstairs. I was going to say mostly eating bourbon creams, but maybe not everybody would get that joke. Um, so uh, these dormer windows, usually it takes about a day to complete uh, each of those. So uh, this whole area is actually now ready for painting. And once it's painted, I can get the floor down. And then this bit, which we normally quickly walk by and ignore because it was uh, until a couple of days ago, there was no floor here and uh, all that was obviously open so that's now closed. Uh, did the clay plastering earlier in the week or was it even before that? Maybe it was done in the last video. Uh, got the floor down, uh, did some extra reinforcement on the floor there because you wanted the stairs to come here to go up but we're considering, because it's so cute here, uh, we're considering leaving this as a kind of a little side area uh, with a little table and some bookshelves or something. Uh, and doing something different with upstairs, uh, maybe a, a pull downstairs, or uh, or we come from from this side and make an additional door uh, upstairs to connect the two sides of the house. But yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. So it makes it feel more finished, and um, so this can be painted in the next week, and then we get the floor down, and then in our bedroom, the floor. We completed also last week. Um, well, almost complete. The last row needs to be done, and uh, kind of using it for storing uh, more floorboards. But I'm quite happy with this now. Oops, screws. Um, it's looking quite well. And then the big job that we did last time. So it's uh, still not completely finished. Uh, but a couple of days ago, I got the uh, ribbed metal sheeting up onto the ceiling. And my wife did all the Dexter work 
<laughs> with a stapler and plastic sheeting making it what looks like a kill room uh, so this is ready then for the, the plastering and we're gonna get that done tomorrow so the ceiling uh, I'll be away for the next few days so when the time I come back the ceiling will be done it'll probably take a bit of time to dry out uh, sufficiently before we can paint it and all that but uh, yeah once that's done and painted and the walls are painted we do the floor here so it's coming on lots and lots of little things to do still um, still a bit of clay plaster work to do there need to get a few more stacks I've only got three left it seems uh, which isn't enough for for this back area and uh, yeah I started finishing off the cabinets here just need to put some plasterboard on and then uh, get all that plastered and then this area is done oh and I also installed God, I'm tripping over things all over the place I also installed the uh, the mini rack uh, so the switch and the uh, patch panel and whatever uh, comms stuff we need for the house will all go in there so lots done still lots to do but uh, we had visitors coming in today for the first time in ages and <laughs> it's really funny say, oh god there's so much work left to do and I think actually no there's not most of it is behind us now the vast majority and it's really only lots and lots of small things to do to to uh, kind of finish things off and that's what takes a bit of time but we've got three weeks I think three full weeks left before we want to be in and if we have to delay by a week or two it's it's no major deal but I think it's looking quite well so let's see what the next week brings